Hello to the wonderful Dynamics 360 fan Power Platform community. Today I am going to release my single video on Microsoft Dataverse titled Power of Microsoft Dataverse. And this is about what? This is about introduction to Microsoft Dataverse and what is Microsoft Dataverse for Teams. Before we get going, just for those of you who are tuning in first time on my channel, I am Dipesh Somani, Business Applications MVP, MCT, author to three Dynamics 365 books so far on my journey and co-founder here at Dynamicity. A bit about me, if you want to use and learn Dynamics 365 and Power Platform alongside me, you can use any of the mediums you see above me. You can follow my tech tweets on Twitter right above me on this particular video and you can connect to me on LinkedIn if you want to do some professional networking with me. You can follow my blog there, dynamicsofdynamicsrm.com. Over the course of years, it has now collected 400 plus blogs, ranging from Dynamics CRM to everything Power Platform. I did a season one of Power Advice. If you're into podcasting and like to hear and learn from podcasts, you can subscribe to my podcast there. And if you're learning through video, just like this one, you can subscribe to my channel and get benefited like 570 plus other team Power of D365 on my YouTube channel. Let's get going, guys, now. What is the latest update around Microsoft Dataverse? So those of you who have used, been using the particular terminology common data service, this has now been renamed to Microsoft Dataverse. Same terminology changes apply within Microsoft Dataverse as well. Now entity will be referred to as table and field will be referred to as column. So those are important terminology changes that we all need to be acquainted with. As of 4 December 2020, this is the terminology that we are going to utilize in this particular technology stack from Microsoft. Introduction to Dataverse now. Now, Dataverse is all about data. Yes, data sits at core of everything. It's how you manage your data, how you secure your data, how you automate on top of your data, how do you get right data as per your needs. How do you want to talk about Dataverse? It lets you securely store and manage your data used by your business application. And it is stored within a set of tables. A table is what? It is set of rows, which is formally referred to as records and columns, formally refers to as fields and attributes. And that's what Power Platform is capable of doing for us, right? It is the low-code platform that allows us to move around our data in a very, very effective way. Why should I utilize Dataverse, right? If you're not sure whether tables are your best option, you have to also consider certain other benefits such as it is very, very easy to manage things in Microsoft Dataverse. It is easy to secure it. It is easy to access your Dynamics 365 data. There's a rich set of metadata that is also involved. You can also apply logic and validation and there are a lot of productivity tools on top. So those are also a lot more compelling reasons of why one should utilize Microsoft Dataverse. Now let us talk about terminology updates. I did give a briefer uh, around that initially in our particular uh, video in starting. But Microsoft is in the process of rolling them out across Microsoft Power Platform. Entity or entities will now refer to as table and tables. Similarly field, attribute or attributes will be referred to as column and columns. Record or records will be referred to as row or rows. Option set, multi-select option set, pick list, whatever you used to call will be now called as choice or choices. Two options will now be called as yes or no. So those are important things to consider when you're using Microsoft Dataverse. So on your next Dynamics 365 Power Platform project, you need to be using those terminologies. And when you're documenting, you need to be using these things in your documentation. When you're telling it to your customer, you need to explain to them these are the new terminology updates. And when you're conversing with your peers, with your stakeholders, Microsoft or somebody else, you need to be utilizing these terms. Very, very important. Introduction to Dataverse for Teams. It is an environment which is used to store, manage and share team specific data apps and flows. Right. So if it is something specific to Teams, each team can then have one environment and all data, apps, bots, flows, whatever you can do with the awesome Power Platform or a Power App app inside a team that are available from that Teams Dataverse for Teams database. Yeah, I said that many times, data and teams, right? But that is what Dataverse for Teams is. It is really coming up off together of this wonderful technology, Teams and Power Apps. How do I identify my particular Dataverse for Teams uh, type of a environment? When, when you go to your Power Platform Admin Center, you have a type column there and here you see it in the highlight. It is marked as Microsoft Teams and that is particularly my Dataverse for Teams environment. I hope this video was useful to you to understand certain terminology updates and getting introduced to Microsoft Dataverse, also getting introduced for Microsoft Dataverse for Teams. And if you want to connect with me, here are all the mediums 
from my YouTube channel all over to my tech tweet, which I do on Twitter. Pod 365 as usual. Stay safe, keep learning and keep going, guys.